This website will provide information, including videos and photos, on resolved UAP cases as they're declassified and approved for public release. The Pentagon launched a website for the department's office in charge of research on unidentified aerial phenomena, or better known as UFOs. Department of Defense spokesman Brigadier General Patrick Ryer announced the website's unveiling. The department is launching a website on the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office to provide the public with information concerning Aero and its efforts to understand and resolve unidentified anomalous phenomena. He said it will serve as a one-stop shop for all publicly available information related to the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, or Aero, and unidentified objects. Aero was created last year to investigate, understand, and resolve reported sightings of UAPs. Ryder was asked how he can assure reported sightings are legitimate. How will that be investigated? Uh, can you talk about that process to make sure, you know, people don't put in jokes? This will be something uh, that we'll continue to keep the public updated on. Uh, you know, Aero is focused on the facts, taking in information, reviewing the facts, and then when possible, uh, you know, declassifying that information and making it available. DOD's UAP activity has recently gotten attention on Capitol Hill when three former military officials testified in front of a House Oversight Committee to recount their experiences. The activity that I personally witnessed, and not to be very careful here, because uh, you don't, you know, they tell you never to acknowledge tradecraft, right? So what I personally witnessed myself and my wife was very disturbing. One of the witnesses, David Grush, who previously worked for the National Reconnaissance Office, told lawmakers the department has been hiding a multi-decade UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program. Though his testimony was based on secondhand information he gathered from others. Have you seen, have you, have you seen the spacecraft? I have to be careful to describe what I've seen uh, firsthand and not in this environment, but I, I could answer that question behind, behind closed doors. Yeah. And have you seen any of the bodies? That's something I've, I've not I witnessed myself.